Okay, so I'm waiting on parts for the Miata. I'm waiting on power steering line stuff. I'm waiting on seats and harnesses and all that stuff, which will be here in a few days. Well, the power steering stuff, I don't know. It could be here in a few days. It could take forever. Hopefully not. But perfect timing because we are starting on the refresh of Ben's car. Basically, sorry with he's got to change the turbo, but there's just all these parts that he has lying around that he's wanted to put on this car forever. And he just kind of wants to unjankify it. Like this like coolant hose routing is just weird. Like it's just a Brado line hose clamped on. He's going to eliminate this and he's got different headlights for it. Like the actual ones that go up and down, just all sorts of like little stuff. Um, and just paint the bay, just refresh the whole car. Cause I pull the turbo manifold off, something else. I forget what the other thing was and then we can drop the motor out the bottom. Freaking Miata Palooza today, Miata. 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 There's, there's another one over there. What are you doing to this thing? Uh, I just put the uh, new throttle body on. Oh, it's okay. Six, so you gotta swap it out to an automatic one. Oh. And then I was gonna <clears throat> install a wideband today. I'm sorry. And try to get it tuned. I had a wide band I was gonna give them, uh, Innovate, and I think I threw it away when I moved. So this is a CX kit? Yeah, it's a CX racing. It looks pretty nice, honestly. Dude, the manifold is super beefy, man. That it looks like it. probably weighs like 65 pounds. Yeah, it's probably it's like Schedule ridiculous. 10. Yeah, it's really, it's a lot better than I expected. Actually. Can you fit the hood with the... Yeah, it fits perfect. Even with the turbo feed line? Yeah, I had it on there on the way here. And it oh, was, nice. Do you drive it here? No. No, you towed it, right? I can't start it. I just put the mega squirt in, so. That's oh, you got the mega squirt. That's right. That's why I need it. A wide band. A wide band. So I can get it started. Now you're making me feel so bad. I thought I was sure I had it. This was make or break the event, bro. Oh, you'll find I only have something. Two weeks. Two weeks is a long time. Yeah, not when you work six days a week. True, I know that struggle. It's hard to, you know, make it do I went to Lowe's, finally bought a vice. Hopefully, this one doesn't break like all the Harbor Freight ones. It looks a little stouter. And it rotates. This is pretty cool. Rotates like this. So I still got to mount to it. Um, I'm still finishing up the welding cart, which you guys saw the welding cart video. I put a clip at the end. I'll put a clip at the end of that video of this done. It's kind of confusing, but anyway. Ben's about to drop the motor out with the turbo on it. You think this is going to work? I'm hoping that he drop it down and like slide, slide it over. over. That's kind of what I was assuming. Because the turbo is like a pain in the ass to pull off. Yeah. Well, I was saying just take the whole manifold and turbo off in one shot. Maybe. This doesn't work. Let's see it, brother. These will be 12s. What? Don't look at me. So basically, this has kind of seemed to be the easiest way to pull motors out of the autos. You want to do everything under the coilovers, and then set it down on a dolly like this. Unbolt the subframe studs. There's studs that stick out, and then you just lift the whole car off it. That's how I had to do it, putting my motor in my car, and after doing it, it's significantly easier. Yeah, if you have a lift or like a cool jack. Yeah, something to be able to, I mean, if you're trying to lift, like jack the car up off of it, it'd be a pain, but it's a lot easier than wrestling the engine out through the top, and you get everything you need in one shot. Did you want to do the steering shaft? Oh, you are, you've done this a million times. I don't even I need to. It's all good. I mean, I'm sure I forgot something. But... Do you still forget stuff, even though you do this like twice a week? I normally forget the ground like over Ah, oh, I forget that one too when I pull them out. Are we ready? Let's go, brother. Send it, brother. Take it easy. Okay. You need to come towards me. If it can. Yeah, I don't think it can yet. Got to go up some more. It, we're still on the subframe studs here. It needs yeah, to go up a tad. Now try. Yeah. yeah so okay. Well, now we're hitting, you're but yeah, try lines. to go. Try to go up. Oh, you're going to hit this. You see these fuel lines too? Yeah. Just, all right, go. Go. We just hang on. Yeah, now we're, we're hitting over here too, though. Ready to be like, ah, I told you you got to pull the manifold off. Ah. <laughs> no, no. I want you to get it out this way. I don't want to be right. I was just saying it's easier to pull the manifold off than to pull the yeah. turbo off the manifold. Especially if you gotta take it off at some point anyway. Alright. Go Ready? Send it. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Hang on. Oh. Now we're squished. Ben, can you just say it for me? What? That I was right. Told you you had to take the turbo manifold off, you fing idiot. Freaking idiot. It hits the turbo on the frame rail and then the intake manifold is the frame rail. I mean you think it's you think it's easier to take the intake manifold off? It's probably easier to pull the turbo thing at this point. I'll update you guys when Ben, oh god, when Ben gets closer to, uh... I'm just gonna keep pushing a button and jacking it up and eventually it'll all just slide out the bottom, right? It should. I walk away for two seconds and they figure it out. What does that say about my mechanic skill work level? 
Obviously, I'm not needed. Yeah. You're very much uh, needed. You're hitting the steering shafts in the back of the turbo. Oh, pull the thing for me. Pulling a motor out of a Miata, we're so sick. With the manifolds on. With the manifolds. Never been done, world's first. We're the best mechanics alive. Best mechanics alive. Best monkey mechanics. Monkey mechanics. It's my favorite comment I've ever gotten is that I was a monkey mechanic. I can never tell when Ben's actually hating and when he's being sarcastic. Like last night he said my welding cart looked good and I still don't know if he meant it or if he was being sarcastic. Probably sarcasm. I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't even know. <laughs> He's like, I don't know which one I mean. Oh, also, update on the oil thing. I don't think I mentioned this in the last video when we were working on the welding cart. Two things wrong. Well, three things. So these back Allen bolts seem to be weeping, and I think I just need to thread seal them because I don't think there's an O-ring around the gasket in that spot. Thing number two, absolutely leaking out of the dipstick. This is like an aftermarket dipstick. I wanted it just cause like the actual dipstick is braided and it's a lot easier to deal with. It's like a diesel truck. Um, but the third thing, when I was reading online last night, it appears that that dipstick is like way too high. So if you fill it up to full on that, I'm, you're like a quart and a quart, or to a quart and a half high. Cause I'm pretty sure I put like six to six and a half quarts in this to get it full on the dipstick. Whereas the pan from what I'm reading takes five. So it's over full which is bad all around. So my plan is I ordered a stock dipstick, gonna put a stock, di stock dipstick in it, uh, drain the oil, fill it up five quarts, um, and then also I'd seal the bolts with silicone. Honda Bond, I ordered Honda Bond. So that's pretty much my plan. I'm really hoping that solves the issue. I, after the drive to get dinner yesterday and I was beating on it the whole time, this whole side of the pan was wet and then you can see, well you can't see because the overexposure but oil got all of the exhaust so has to be fixed you can still see some here and i let it run on the lift and was watching it bubble out of the dipstick fingers crossed i don't have to take this engine back out after i just got it running <laughs> that'd be so sad you're depressed uh, he's yeah. depressed i didn't have my wide band and now he's putting his mega squirt in it's a plug and play but why did you do the other tps because it's talking a about? one six so it won't read the actual uh, oh because you have a 1.8 uh, oh no throttle position. right 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 okay so, and then on this one, there's a fourth wire. So you have your three that go into your actual CPS. And then this one actually has to get tapped into the mega square. Uh, okay. Which is a pain in the butt. It's probably not as bad as you're making it, th as you're thinking it is. And then he is doing upper control arms. Or is he already done? No, he's still gotta take these off. He put, what did he do? What did you put, like white line bushings? Oh, offset. Ah. I didn't realize you could do that. Yeah, Ben did it on his car, so he told me to do it. Oh, smart, smart. Yeah, we're just having a Miata Fest. I yeah. still got my leaky boy up here. I wish I could take you guys for a ride. Oh, I would love to go Dude, for a ride in this thing. I'll trade you ride for ride the RX-7 for Yeah, I mean, maybe, I mean, it's, yeah, we could probably do that. In a yeah. Minute. Damn, check him out, he's got it running. Ish. <laughs> Ish. I mean, it started, that's a, that's a step. How's your control arm swap going? Good, except for I'm an idiot, and when I put this in, I put it in the wrong way. Oh, I did the same thing. You just, uh, there's something you can do. Tw push the knuckle back. Push the knuckle up. Oh! Yeah, I did the same thing before. Thank you, sir. Because I was like, this sucks, and I'm like, and wait like, a second. Oh, man, I was just about to pull all this everything. Yeah, nope, you're good. Saved your life. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I know I said I wasn't gonna film any more welding cart stuff, uh, just when it's done, but putting the wheels on. I just tacked the casters on so I didn't have to bolt them. I just put three tacks so I can cut them off if I need to replace them. And then I tacked this on, but I need to weld it. I just cut it short. It's all thread, half inch. And then these are like lawnmower wheels that I got at uh, the old Lowe's. They slide on. I got some washers for the backside, lock nuts so that I can like snug them up without having to tighten them like crazy and keep, they'll stay on. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's finished. Look at that. Don't worry about that, that's just the header wrap. Yeah. And all the oil from your hands. All right, well, that's the welding cart finished. Check it out. Got the chain, I got the yellow to match the AHP, and it looks nice coated. We've got our torch holder, which it just slides in by the back cap. And then holds the wire in, and then same thing with the ground clamp. Wrap the wire, ground clamp holds it on. Then down here we got ground clamp which loops around our little hangy guy. 
And then over here, main gun, flips around our little hangy guy. Happy with, with this, honestly. Very happy with how it came out. So nice to finally have a welding car. And I can just hang my helmet. But ciao. Sun stoked. Why are you still working on this thing? What are you doing? I'm an idiot. No, I forgot to put the metal bushing, the metal things in the bushings when I put them in. Oh, so now yeah. I gotta pull it all back apart. Sick. So tight. Yeah. He needs a throttle body gasket. They got his car running decent. What? I'm sorry, but what is this bumper? What had happened was I got that body kit on with my RX-7. I bought the whole body kit. They sent me the wrong bumper. They sent me the bumper for the Miata. So I kept it and just ordered the RX-7 one. So uh, it's just, that's, it. It makes it look like an, almost like an RX-7, kind of. Uh, I feel like, like a wannabe. I feel like, I, I feel like it's kind of horrible. Me, I don't like it. We got pizza. Wrenching on car specialty. Oh, that one looks good too. Damn, I'm glad we got two of the cheeseburger ones. Hell yeah. My metal fab table makes a great dinner table. it up in exhaust out of necessity for his new turbo kit take welded looks amazing very bad fit up and such but no holes it's all together and very that's why i wanted to learn how to weld so i can do stuff like this if i need to which is Helping nice people out in a pinch and a pinch Appreciate it. and be able to build my own cool stuff i actually think that's gonna be like perfect try it out Go, go mock it up if you can before you drill, go wait through all your time drilling those holes. I feel good now. Tell yeah, me the time. Yeah, no, that, that, that fits really good. It's like within an eighth of an inch. Sweet. Like, and the clocking of it is actually correct too. Nice. So I mean, he cut it, I made him cut it because I was like, you're responsible for it not fitting correctly. Um, but I welted it, hey, that's, so that's cool. That's a pretty good eyeball cutting though. Like, yeah, it worked it, out. It's gonna work out really well, actually. Yeah, he's just trying to basically put his whole exhaust on because he has this down pipe, which is meant to make it up to the stock cat, but he doesn't have the stock cat. So we cut that off the stock cat, welded it on to that pipe, and then now, yeah. Uh, full exhaust. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, C5, son, woo woo! Oh, it's six feet too. Ben, I've been trying to convince Ben to get a C5 and supercharge it, because he would be in love and it would be super fun. Yeah, so it's on four. I'm also trying to convince Ben to not buy any Miatas so that he can rearrange the shop with all his parts, which he's been talking about doing since I moved in, and here he is looking for Miatas. Does, it, does this look like Miatas? Does this look like Miatas as a freaking S10, brother? It's because I came in here and was like, let's look for single cap short bed Chevys. All right, we're going to work on your car, let's go. Uh, we're just gonna finish up getting it torn apart and just get an idea of what he needs. Part one of Ben's Turbo Miata refresh. Also, let me know what you guys wanna see specifically uh, as we go through this build, any questions, you know, common questions about doing a Turbo Miata build and all that stuff, so, you know, I could try to highlight that stuff for you guys. What's your plan, Ben? That What's your- stupid as hell, Taylor. What's your plan? I said that we could strip the engine bay. Okay, got the bay completely stripped down. So now we're gonna split the trans from the engine, pressure wash that, and just kind of get this stripped down a little bit better. Hey, hey. been about I don't know an hour and a half hour to so. get the freaking turbo off comment below if you know actually like this video if you know the struggles of taking a turbo off a turbo manifold with four bolt flange t25 because everything is so freaking tight and small like it's so hard to get to it you gotta like 
put the nut in here and hold the turbo halfway up to like get it on because if you set it all the way down, the stud's like almost hitting here. Oh, it's just sucks. Comment below if you know anyone who makes a 1.8 log manifold cast with a V-band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's gonna finish ripping that side of the suspension off and then we're gonna push everything outside and have a joyous pressure washing, dirty, dirty stuff thing. Cause pressure washing nasty, greasy car parts is like the best. <laughs> I love it, dude. Put up a bunch of aluminum that I got when I got all the material to build the welding carts uh, for practice. So I'm gonna play with that here in a minute because um, we only got one pressure washer. But I will time lapse the pressure washing for you guys because it's very satisfying. Well, at least got to do a before and after. Look at that nastiness. Ugh. My old RB25 S14 was like this. And it was so satisfying to pressure wash it and the subframe and stuff. It was just like so nice and new afterwards. The trans out here too, that six speed John Ski! And Taylor's such a good friend. He was like, you can use me. You look majestic. I always look majestic, dude. I'm fucking handsome. Tinder game? Me on Tinder? Yes. I don't have a Tinder. I know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You're supposed to say something funny, not something real. inside it was kind of a pain because the rollers like fell off into the grass and all that but motors in or cars in engines in trans is in ben is going to go come up with a plan <laughs> as to what to do there's just a lot of options like I, my suggestion is that we replace this totally tubular manifold with a log manifold you can buy like the little kits or the parts form for pretty cheap and you know we could build it with a v-band flange bottom mount and it would be a lot easier to work with it would be a lot cleaner of a setup and just overall nicer to deal with. Um, so that's kind of like my thought process, but obviously the tubular manifold probably makes more power. I know that log manifolds are supposed to make more bottom end. So like, I don't know. I don't know, we don't know. Ben's gonna come up with a plan, start ordering stuff so we can actually knock this out reasonably quickly because my Miata will be done in a week or two. So yeah. like done, done. Well, this shouldn't take that long once we have all the parts. Right, we just, you gotta come it's up with a plan much, and order it. Like, worst case, we'll be making a manifold and a downpipe and, like, changing intercooler piping. That's pretty much it for now. I'll see you guys in the next part of the project. Again, don't forget to let me know what you guys want to see specifically, what your thoughts are, etc. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye. Been doing a little bit of aluminum. I'm getting there. I'm still not quite there. It's tough. It's tough. Because to get the electrode, you have to be like really close with the electrode to not have it just like want to melt everything. And then when you're that close, if you dab a little too much rod in, you just end up blowing it right into the tungsten and duffing the electrode. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Definitely need some more practice. Hopefully by the end of this practice material, I'll be ready to weld the expansion tank for the Miata.